It's the eight nanometer Samsung node variants. <sighs> It, which is interesting because even though 82 of those SMs qualified, the silicon itself is not as good. It's weird, dude. Like, how can there be a 10% silicon variance? Samsung nodes are kind of dog shit, aren't they? EVGA's load balance was the second problem, right? This ties into, um, they released a 500 watt BIOS for 3090s and 520, 500, five, they released a 500 watt BIOS for 3090s. Literally nobody in the fucking EVGA thread there could get their cards past 450 watts with a 500 watt BIOS. And when the 3090s first released, Kingpin gave Jay's two cents a 900 watt BIOS or whatever, and he couldn't get past 450 watts with it. Cause there's a load balance problem, right? So essentially the load balance problem is, um, just a quick recap for anybody, right? You have three eight pins up here, right? And you have a PCI Express slot down here. These all draw power into the GPU core, okay? Now, this one is supposed to pull one, th one third? One third. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. These are 150 watts. These is 50 watts. Yeah, one third. This one is supposed, a, a regularly engineered board this one is supposed to pull one third, right? EVGA made it pull one half. So these are supposed to pull 150 watts. This one was pulling 75 all the time. Now, when this slot pulls 75 watts, it tells these to start pulling less to balance the loadout. Because the GPU is like, oh, or the, sorry, the BIOS and the GPU is like, oh, this one can only pull 75, but it, I'm reading 75 from it. So if I'm reading 75 from this, don't pull any more power, right? And EVGA and all their fucking wisdom put fuses here. So if you pull too much power through them, they will blow up, right? These ones don't really matter. You can't blow these ones up, but this one was a 10 amp fuse. 10 amp fuse oh you guys can't see hang on yeah this one's a 10 amp fuse on the pci express so the evga engineers made this slot pull another third of power more than it's supposed to and they put a smaller fuse on the rail the power rail you see do you see where the problem do you see where i'm going with why New World was bricking EVGA, specifically EVGA 3090s. You see where I'm going with this? So, and as soon as I read the New World headline where it was like, the loading screen is what's bricking it, I'm like, that's ex okay. It's not rocket science, guys. It's not rocket science. So, what do you get? and then uh, you have like vrms here right and these handle load balancing or current balancing i should say right so as current goes into the vrms they spread out amongst themselves kind of thing right now what happens when you go in a loading screen with no fps limit you get like 5,000 FPS, right? What the hell happens? Power shoots up. Like, like, and the way a loading screen works, it's not gradual, right? It's not like, it's not like, you know, when you're, okay, you're playing a game, right? 
and let's say your character is facing this way and you're spanning your character this way let's say this direction that you're looking draws more power you still had to get there do you know what i mean so the vrms kind of have time to catch up not vrms um overcurrent protection do you know what i mean and the fuses kind of have time so loading screen though it's like this is your power draw before the loading screen right this is your power draw during the loading screen where do you, know, do you know what i mean whereas if you're playing a game it's like this you know what i mean this is your loading screen now what the fuck happens there right this the pci express slot here is already improperly balanced so when you hit the loading screen you blow the fuse Th this hits so fast that these can't keep up with it it's, it's like a snap right and then this blows up to try and save the card that's essentially what was happening there that's all that was happening there so it, it was it's kind so it's kind of a perfect storm of EVGA failing in their engineering. But the other thing was, it wasn't a bad enough engineering design to recall the cards and, and change it. Because they labeled that 500 watt BIOS as a beta BIOS. So they're like, it might not work for you. It might work for you. So it, the, the, the 3090 for the win three was never guaranteed to pull 500. It pulls 450 watts just fine. So they never recalled the car. They never fixed that shit. They never did shit, right? Um, so bridge the, uh, bridge the fuse problem solved. I don't know. I have my fuse bridged. I have a little wire just glued over top of my 10M fuse, right? Because I run no power limits on my cards. The I would say the better approach is to just go in your NVIDIA control panel and like go to 3D settings. Uh, max frame rate. Just change this to like 500 or something. That's the better way to go about it. You know what I mean? I do have my fuse shorted out for that reason, but you're better off just doing this. So if another game in the future hits the same thing, you're covered no matter what, right? Um, yeah. So that's, that's pretty much why evga cards specifically were all over the headlines because no other manufacturer has this specific problem of the 10 amp fuse a 10 amp fuse with an improperly balanced pci express slot you hit your loading screen bam blows this fucking thing up right off the bat your card's gone but and why do you think i'm pretty sure evga saw this coming so did you see the headline of um the headline was like evga replacing 3090s yeah yeah yeah, yeah. evga immediately replacing all 39 it's like that fucking begs a few questions a they're trying to play it off as they're the good guy when they fucked up the engineering from day one b why do they have that many 3090s ready to go for replacement they knew that shit was coming like they knew somewhere down the line that they're gonna have to replace a lot of these fucking things dude and if you go to the EVGA forums, the Further Win 3, or the, the, the EVGA cards in general have an extremely high failure rate. Huge failure rate, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like, it's like, oh, EVGA is replacing all the cards immediately. It's like, oh, so they fucking knew that that shit was going to blow up one day. You know what I mean? So... 
it's fucking sketchy dude it's sketchy so again I, the, 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 like my card is fine again because i fixed it myself right so i saw all this shit coming a mile away too so what what did i do right so if you have an evga card don't rely on them to i mean maybe you do rely on them to rma they seem their, their warranty seems good right but here's how you can fix it yourself right you voltage lock your own card um i'm not gonna recommend you short your your fuse i won't recommend that i'm gonna i'm gonna list what i did shorted fuse um set nvidia control panel fps lock to like fucking 700 or whatever just set it to something something where any game that you play even like csgo isn't affected by it fucking set it to 800 do you know what i mean something like that so you're taking care of the boost algorithm with the first one right so that way your war zone isn't gonna get dev errors and you're not gonna crash right this is up to you okay but this is what i did to make sure the reason why i glued a wire over my fuse was that this was before the new world problem right but the reason why i shorted it was i thought they put a fuse there because if you ran the kingpin bios and blew the fuse up you wouldn't be able to reflash your bios back to the stock one right and then they would know when you are made the card they would know that you had the kingpin bios on that shit right so the reason why i shunt or i shorted the fuse was if my card ever blows up they wouldn't know that i was there that's why i did it so i can get my rma but apparently that doesn't matter now now you can just say oh i played new world and my card blew up and apparently some people have been trying to swindle evga for that shit too um i think nori was talking about it in the discord where like some xoc guys were saying how it blew their fuse up but but th like those guys blew their fuse up doing like xoc shit but they were trying to rma their card saying new world blew it up but anyway that's why i shorted my fuse out all right so i don't know if you want to do that i'm not recommending it but and then you set your nvidia control panel so so to summarize this all up okay Ampere is a fucking shit show, isn't it? Samsung Node, EVGA. This, this, this is a fucking shit show, dude. How the hell are we a year into Ampere and it's a fucking shit show, dude? It's too bad AMD isn't faster than it is, man. I mean, it's close enough, but man. If AMD was faster, you just use that and not worry about any of this shit. You know what I mean? Like fucking, this is rough, dude. It's it's too much. It's too much corner cutting. That's the problem. Nvidia tries to make a good product by cutting too many goddamn corners, and you just end up with a shitty product that you paid fucking two thousand dollars for. Okay, but that's that's the 3090 bricking in a nutshell of why the loading screen spike is what's killing your fuse right evga used to be a good company dude their 20 series was really good their ampere cards and their motherboards are fucking dog shit though i stay away from evga products well fuck i have two of them christ but i got them for the original msrp so that's why i have them right it's not new world's fault though man it's not it's it's how the fuck like uh, game developers aren't game developers aren't gpu architects they 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 have so you're building your game okay you're building you're writing the fucking code for your game right it's DirectX 12 DirectX 12 has its own API like draw calls that you have to put into for the for the GPU you know what I mean 
how the hell are the uh, Amazon developers supposed to be like um Oh, they've also never developed a game before. It's a brand new studio or whatever, right? Amazon doesn't make games. But it's like, um... I, I think that, uh... This one EVGA card might have a small fuse on the PCI Express slot. We better put in an FPS limiter. No, 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 no. That's purely on EVGA, dude. 100% on... That's 100% on EVGA because of the load balance problem. Their, their unwillingness to address the problem. Their unwillingness to admit the problem. It's 100% on EVGA. Because it's their engineers that, that, like, if their engineers did it properly, it wouldn't have blown up, right? How do you blame? It's not, it's not New World's fault at all, dude. At all. Even the fact that the new world devs put in an FPS cap for the menu it is more than what they had to do. They just did it out of the good graces of their... It was like, oh, I guess we'll put an FPS cap. They didn't even have to do that. It's just like, this is your fucking hardware's problem. It's not our problem. Um, Dude, EVGA has... I don't think... I don't think they'll lose anything because the reason why they're replacing all the cards so fast all they have to do to fix the card is get the card back, replace the fuse, and they're up and going again. They can resell the card like that. They're not really losing it. They're losing shipping money, pretty much. It's not like the card is dead. They just have to replace the fuse. It's like, oh, back into the wild you go. You know what I mean? Tin, that's his name. Yeah, that guy's gone now. Everything kind of went to shit since that guy fucking left, right? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty B stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, dude. I don't. I don't think they're even gonna sell it as B stock. I think they're literally just gonna resell it as normal. Seriously. They're just gonna fucking put a new fuse on it, fucking spray some electrical coating or whatever. Away with it. Away they go, dude. Straight up. Just straight up. Yes, Newman. Yes, yes, yes. They're gonna. So maybe that's why they have so many RMAs in stock ready to go. Because the 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 thirty nineties were blowing up so much before. That maybe they were just holding on to them and use, gonna, gonna use those for the RMAs. Yep, that's a good point. That's a good point, dude.